At UFC 268, Michael Chandler and Justin Gagey put on an all-time classic. The two lightweight contenders left it all in the octagon in a fight that is already being hailed a future UFC Hall of Fame fight wing induction. In a video posted to his Instagram account on Monday, Michael Chandler was back home and had a hilarious interaction with his son after Justin Gagey left his face unrecognizable. Here's the clip. Ladies and gentlemen, I am broadcasting live from that real Tennessee. My current decisions in my previous fight to go toe to toe with the human highlight reel have rendered my face unrecognizable. Therefore, I am wearing this frozen mask. I will see you at the top you that your father has made some really bad decisions in his last fight that have resulted in his face being virtually unrecognizable. <laughs> Therefore, to expedite the process of healing, I would like to wear this frozen mask so you, my son, may be able to see me more clearly very soon. I love you, son. I will see you at the top. <laughs> This post was also paired with the following caption. We made some questionable decisions in the last one, but we had a blast. Ill-advised yet entertaining is my strong suit. What a great camp we had at Sanford MMA. Huge thank you to my coaches and training partners. So happy to be home with Bree Chandler and Hatman. To the fans, I appreciate your guys' support on this journey. The best is yet to come. See you at the top. Chandler has also called out Conor McGregor for a 2022 match. McGregor saw the call out from Chandler and quickly responded, indicating that it is a fight that he is interested in down the road. I'm down at some stage for sure. Great fight the other night, Mike. Congrats. Chandler responded with, thank you, sir. It would be my pleasure. See you soon. What do you guys think about this matchup? Would you like to see McGregor vs Chandler fight? Leave your comments below. Daniel Cormier and Justin Gagey recently got into it on social media after Gagey accused DC of being biased during his commentary for the recent Makachev vs Dan Hooker fight. Following that match, which Makachev won in an impressive fashion, Cormier suggested that he should be next in line to fight for the belt, and Gagey felt that he was biased since they are teammates at AKA. However, it now appears that DC has changed his tune and is now supporting Gagey for the title shot. Speaking on his YouTube channel, DC admitted that Gagey should be next in line to fight the winner of UFC 269's Charles Oliveira vs Dustin Poirier fight. The whole thing with Justin Gagey last weekend, I said what I felt and he took offense. But all week, not one second was Justin Gagey mad at me, upset, or approached me in an angry way. He spoke about it in that moment, and you know what? Last night, he went out there and did what he had to do in order to ensure that he keeps his championship fight. Because he fought Michael Chandler and beat Michael Chandler, a very trained, well-prepared Michael Chandler, so hats off to Justin Gagey, and honestly, I believe that he will be the guy to fight for the belt next. What do you guys think about these comments from DC? Who do you think deserves the next title shot? Let us know in the comments section. During his storied kickboxing past, Alex Pereira scored two victories over reigning UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya, the second of which was a nasty KO.
the former two-division glory kickboxing champion had a spectacular UFC debut at Saturday's UFC 268. Pereira knocked out Andreas Mihalides with a flying knee in the second round of their middleweight contest. Taking to his social media on Tuesday, Israel Adesanya posted a video where he reacts to Pereira's impressive knockout victory. Because you know he's going to shoot well-timed knee, just straight up. Bang. We. There it is. I thought he was going to do it when he shot in, but I didn't think it was going to fly with him. We talked about this like two days ago. I'm like, yeah, we need something new, especially after you lap the division again. Adesanya also wrote, Who they fear who? Who they sweat who? LOL, relax, noobs. I like this arch in my story. My life really is an anime. Speaking on the most recent episode of Believe You Me podcast, Michael Bisping discussed what's next for Hamzat Chimaev after his recent UFC 267 win and shared his thoughts on a potential Nate Diaz vs. Chimaev fight. Here's what he said. That's that. That's doing the rounds. Excuse me. Four fights in the UFC yeah. and he's absorbed one significant blow. And it wasn't a significant blow. It no. was, here, yeah, I've one of them from John Phillips when he was getting killed. <laughs> Off me. Like what it was. Yeah, like, yeah, I can't do anything else. I'm just going to do that. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Four fights. Has it even taken a shot? What's a prick? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Look at the state of my face. I got one eye. I got no <laughs> neck. I mean, agony is he's sitting here. My neck's fucked. No knees. He goes in. Doesn't even take a shot in the toughest sport in the world. Uh, yeah, man. Who do you think he fights next? We'll so check this shot. out, though, because Diaz. Apparently, he's fighting out his contract, right? He's got one more got fight one left, left yeah. and I won that fight, and then he's going to go box Jake Paul or do whatever he's going to do. Mm-hmm. If I, if it's my organization, I send him on, I send him off on his way with a f- ass kicking. Yeah, yeah. By f- Jim mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because no disrespect to Diaz, everyone loves him and he's a warrior and all the rest of it. He does not match up well with that guy. It seems likely that Rose Namajunas will next face Carla Esparza, who is arguably the number one contender in the UFC women's strawweight division. In her last post on Instagram, Esparza made it clear that she is interested in running it back with Namajunas, who she defeated back in 2014 to become the first ever women's champion in the UFC at 115 pounds. Here's the post. Congratulations Rose Namajunas on a fantastic victory, inspiring to so many and I am truly happy for you. Fate had us cross paths when we created this division and I'm proud that 7 years later we are both still here at the top of it. This is not a call out or anything disrespectful, this is genuine respect. You deserve time to celebrate and enjoy this accomplishment, it will be an honor to run this back when you are ready. Speaking on the MMA Hour Monday. Nama Yunus said she is open to defend her title against Carla Esparza. Here's the clip. So, I mean, it's 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 got to be Carla next, right? I mean, this has to happen, correct? This is what you want, I would imagine, no? I would like to, yeah. I would like to. Um, I I don't see what any anything else makes makes sense. Is there a part of you that like not just you would like to, but you want to avenge the loss, right? You want to show you got better. I mean, this is, I want to say personal yeah. in the sense that you don't like her because I thought her message to you, I don't know if you saw, was very respectful and nice. Did you see it? Yes. Yeah. So it doesn't seem like there's a beef there, but I would imagine the sports woman in you wants to avenge that, correct? Yes. And the reason is too, I believe that, um, I think, I think what she did by sort of, I think she's going to give it all she's got. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.